hola amigos de Muscular Development, esta es Rebeca desde la Florida, hoy vamos a estar entrevistando a David Riley, él es un físico culturista basado aquí en la Florida. David, uh, can you tell us who you are? Well, my name is David Riley, uh, I grew up in uh, Wisconsin, a very small farming town in Wisconsin. Um, now I reside in Florida, Fort Lauderdale. I've uh, been located here for uh, roughly six years now. Okay. Uh, él nos está explicando que él es de Wisconsin, originalmente. Vive aquí en la Florida. Uh, tiene seis años aquí basado en la Florida. Uh, when was your last competition? Well, unfortunately, my last competition was uh, 2010, which was the uh, Southern States here in Florida, which is one of the national, biggest national qualifiers in the country. Um, very big show, very good quality bodybuilders. Uh, I was a super heavyweight. Um, I was a super heavyweight champion as well as overall champ as well. Uh, y su posición fue overall, uh, gan ganó haciéndolo heavyweight um, y eh, creo que fue su última competencia. Why was that your last show? Well, that was my last show. I, I had a little bit of setback. I got injured, um, a very freak accident. I was um, reaching in my truck for my bag and damaged my sciatic nerve, um, went down and pretty much was out off and on for roughly about a year and a half, so I, it kind of set me back a little bit. El tuvo un accidente el cual le dañó la espalda y por eso tuvo que dejar de entrenar por aproximadamente seis meses. What did you feel when you won the show, the overall? Wow, well, first of all, the preparation I did for the 2010 Southern States was very, very difficult. Um, I definitely probably did the most cardio I've ever done in my life as far as for bodybuilding show. Um, the, the feeling was overwhelming because I knew within myself I prepared well for it. I knew that um, I bought definitely the best package I could bring at the time. I knew my size was, I was the biggest guy in the show as well as the most conditioned guy in the show. So um, I knew that there was going to have to be a pretty, pretty good person to come in and beat me at that show anyway. So um, my overall feeling, I was, I was extremely happy. You know, it was kind of like a mission accomplished. You know, I felt very, uh, very proud. I had a great uh, team behind me. Um, you know, a lot of friends flew in from, from the Midwest. Um, so I basically like had a re ridiculously huge section just screaming for me. So um, uh, I, I'd have to say that was probably one of the better moments of my life, actually, that just that night, you know. So uh, it was definitely overwhelming, exciting, and uh, memorable for me. So. Uh, él fue a la competencia muy seguro de que iba a ganar, ya que él uh, tuvo un entrenamiento muy fuerte. Él dice que hizo muchísimo cardio, se preparó de una manera extrema en comparación a los otros entrenamientos que él había tenido para las competencias anteriores. Uh, él tuvo un apoyo muy grande, tenía un equipo a su espalda que lo hizo sentir muy seguro de que él iba a ganar. Él era uno de los, de los uh, físico-culturistas más grandes de la competencia y él ya lo sabía. Uh, dice que ha sido uno de los mejores momentos de su vida, uh, pero fue muy bien preparado y se sentía muy bien. Él ya sabía que iba a ganar prácticamente. Um, Next, we would like to know where, what are your next plans? What are you doing as a competitor next? Sure, Rebecca, I'll let you know. Um, well, as of now, uh, my, my next show plan is going to be the Dallas Europa, which is in Dallas, Texas. Um, it's roughly nine weeks from now, so I'm actually starting to prep for that right now, actually. And today we are going to train for the show. Um, so right now, that's, that's my first warm-up show I'm gonna call it and then after that the big show is gonna be the North American which I can turn professional at um, so that's where I hope I make my peak at that time so right now I'm gonna just try to go back to the basics and I call it like meat and potato training you know back to how I got to be me and back to the basics to put the size back on and then from there we'll, we'll tune it up and see what happens you know I mean I, I I know if I come in with size and conditioning I have a, a competitive shot of winning that um, I, I always train to win no matter what I've done in my life you know I've always try to be the best I can be you know and unfortunately oh, I should say fortunately in bodybuilding you know it's not up to you you know it's in uh, the judges hands so you just got to bring the best package you know and the rest is up them you know so wh when is the date of the next show 
Well, I, will, I believe it's going to be like the third week in August. I don't have the exact date. Um, <laughs> I probably should at this point. <laughs> I'm guesstimating eight, nine weeks from now ish. Don't tell me less than that because I'm already like uh, releasing cortisol as it is. So, um, yeah, you have, they have no idea what I'm doing. Ah, bueno, yo le pregunté que cual, cuáles son sus planes como competidor. Uh, su próxima competencia sería el Europa en Dallas. Uh, es aproximadamente siete semanas, si no me equivoco. Um, y su otra competencia va a ser el North American, el cual es basado en Pittsburgh. Es un show extremadamente grande y súper importante para la industria de bodybuilding en los Estados Unidos, ya que el organizador del evento es uno de los chairmen de, de la IFBB y de NPC en los Estados Unidos. Um, ahí él va a tener el chance de obtener el estatus de pro, ya que en ese show uh, dan bastantes tarjetas um, pro. So, nosotros le deseamos suerte en su futuro. Obviamente, él, como ya lo pueden ver, él entrena duro, uh, se mantiene en un régimen alimenticio día a día, año tras año y nunca ha parado. Él también dice que él está dando lo mejor 100% de él para ganar, obviamente, y él simplemente espera lo mejor. Eh, él no tiene ninguna duda de que va a ganar, en pocas palabras. Um, can you talk to us about your training? How is your training schedule? Well, now that I'm back healthy, basically my split is, uh, I do like a five-day split. Um, for example, my Monday usually is, I try to do as of tomorrow, I'm going to start to be consistent, obviously. Um, it's going to be a two-day workout, so my goal is to get eight to ten workouts in per week in a, in a five to seven-day split. So what I'm looking for, basically, is my Monday is chest and biceps AM, and then PM is going to be abs, calves, and cardio. Um, Tuesday is going to be back and triceps. Uh, PM is going to be abs and cardio. So I'm going to be doing a lot of cardio now, at least half hour to 45 minutes twice a day um, for the next few weeks anyway. Um, my Wednesdays is pretty much quads. I do quads and hamstrings, a little bit of hamstring, but quads are just, you know, brutal that day usually. Um, and the reason, reason I do it like this, um, back in the truck up a little bit, I like to do a push day which is chest on Monday, and then a pull day, which is back on Tuesday. And then Wednesday, I do legs, which gives my whole body an extra day to recover, to, 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 to get into the Thursday workout, to bring you know more upper body workout. And so, again, Wednesday, I do legs, pretty much quads, a little bit of hamstrings. And then Thursday, I do shoulders and traps. And then Friday, I do buys and tries. And then, for two or three weeks in there, I do two chest and bicep workouts. So Saturday or Sunday, depending on how I feel, because I always take at least one day off. And depending on how I feel, or where I'm at, my, my diet and everything like that, um, I, I try to get two to three weeks in a row where I do two chest and biceps. I feel like it stimulates me a little bit. I get a little bit grainier and harder, as well as a little bit more volume for, for my body. Um, it's worked for me in the past, and that's what I'm gonna do for this prep as well. Okay. Um, el Divide todo su entrenamiento, obviamente como todos los fisicoculturistas, cada día se concentra en un grupo muscular. Uh, él cambia un poco el entrenamiento antes de la competencia para mantener el, el metabolismo acelerado, obviamente lo ayuda a quemar grasa en combinación con todo el cardio que él va a estar haciendo de ahora en adelante, ya que la competencia se acerca. Uh, y depende de cómo él se siente físicamente y cómo él se ve, cambia eh, el entrenamiento, en realidad no entrena siempre igual, uh, nos ha explicado que a veces por semanas hace doble entrenamiento de espalda y hombros, hay veces que lo cambia dependiendo de cómo él ve su progreso. Um, lo próximo que le queremos preguntar es que si él está patrocinado por algún tipo de compañía y qué tipo de suplementos toma. Are you a sponsor by a company? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, I definitely want to give uh, a big, uh, you know, Shout out. Shout out, condolences, you know, I'm, I'm definitely honored and everything else. Uh, but my sponsor's name is ProSupps. Um, I think originally based out of Texas, but uh, locally we have branch here as well. Um, 
definitely a huge, huge uh, shout out to those guys for helping me out with uh, my products and sponsoring me. Um, and this is a, a new sponsor too, so I've been with Pro Subs now for roughly two months, so it's fairly new and the company's amazing, it's growing. Um, you know, the athletes are amazing, it's up and coming, the products Obviously, are Obviously, you use your products. Yeah, the products are very, very good, very high quality, you know, very tested very well. What's your favorite product? I would have to say f for myself it is the Carbolic, which is probably the number one selling product on the market right now. Uh, Carbolic is great for pre and post work on out, so uh, I would have to say Carbolic. Okay. Um, él nos está hablando de sus productos favoritos. Uh, creo que no tenemos ninguno aquí en la mesa, pero el nombre es Carbolic, que es de la compañía que patrocina a David. Um, él también está hablando de que tiene muchos atletas patrocinados y todos son excelentes atletas y es, es muy buena compañía, es una compañía nueva um, que se está dejando de conocer aquí en los Estados Unidos, no, no creo que es muy conocida en Europa o en América Latina uh, pero pronto espero que la conozcan, yo he probado también los productos y los recomiendo uh, como mujer y como entrenadora que soy um, y bueno la última pregunta que le vamos a hacer a David es how can people contact you? Well, right now, the, the best way to contact me, I guess you could email me. My email address is flexum, F-L-E-X-E-M, 33 at yahoo.com. Again, it's flexum33 at yahoo.com. Um, you can contact me that way. You can always contact me on Facebook. That's probably the better way to contact me. Um, as well as if you follow Instagram now, if you go to David Dave Riley underscore pro subs, you can get me there and follow me as well and kind of see what's going on in my life so I'm new to Instagram so I'm just started that so <laughs> but yeah I would say honestly the best way to get a hold of me is Facebook because I, I check that more than even my email so um, if you go ahead uh, él dice que la mejor manera de contactarse con él es por Facebook también los invita a seguir um, su vida y lo que él hace por Instagram um, está bajo su nombre también y bueno eh, yo particularmente, otra vez Rebeca Kendo desde la Florida con Muscular Development, le quiero dar las gracias a David por habernos dado un poco de su vida y compartir con nosotros lo, sus futuros planes como físico-culturista. Gracias, que pasen buenos días.